G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to multiply by multiples of tens. This means multiplying by hundreds, thousands, tens, millions. Alright, maybe you're really, really good at these. We'll see. By the end of this video, I think you should be an absolute machine. Let's have a look. Alright, what about, say, something like 26 times 100? How would you get the answer to that? Well, these aren't really that bad, but there's a little trick with these, and this is the way I would do these. First off, I count the number of zeros on this particular number here, the one with the, the, the tens base one, which is this. So there's one, two zeros there. And I'll get my 26, and there's a decimal place after this 26. You can't see it. We don't often draw it in, but it's there. And we have to move it. We have to move the decimal place. So that's what we're doing. Whenever we're timesing by tens or hundreds or thousands, we're just moving this decimal place. The 26 itself will stay the same. So we're going to move this decimal place, and we're going to end up with either more or less zeros. Um, how many times are we going to move it? Well, we crossed out one, two zeros here. That's how many times we're going to move it, okay? So it's two zeros. We're going to jump two times. So one, two. Okay, the decimal place is going to end up here. What we draw underneath, or, or above, the, sorry, above these particular little jumps, is we put zeros there. Okay? And we get the answer of, now, 2,600. Pretty easy, right? I'll give you one more of these. So we'll get rid of that. And the next one we'll do is say something like 33, oh, what about 350 times 1,000? Okay. So, first off, let's have a look how many zeros there are. There's one, two, three zeros. We're going to have to move. This number is going to get bigger because we're timesing it. We're going to have to move three times. Okay, there's three zeros. So, I write down my 350. And where the decimal place is just here. And I move the number one, two, three times. And above these, I put my zeros. So, my answer. 350,000. Okay, I'll get one more of these. And this one's going to be a bit of a tricky one, okay? This one, I'm going to put a decimal place already in the number. So what about I do, say, something like 3.75, and I'm going to times this by 1,000. Okay. So let's count the number of zeros in this particular thing we're timesing by. There is one, two, three zeros. Okay. Because we're timesing, the number's getting bigger, the decimal place is going to move this way. It's going to move three times this way. So 3.75, the decimal place, I'll write, actually I'll rewrite 3.75 to give myself a bit of space here. The decimal place is going to move one, two, three times. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up with a zero in here. So the answer we get is 3,750. Here's a few questions for you to practice by. Uh, see how you go on them. All right. So here's the questions. All right. I recommend you pause these, and I'm going to go through the answers in five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, so how'd you go with those? Okay, let's have a look. So we've got two zeros on this one here. So we're going to move the decimal place on the 650 two times. So 650, and I'm going to move it one, two times. The answer is 65,000. This one, we've got three zeros. The decimal place is going to have to jump three times. So 45, one, two, three. 45,000 is the answer. This one we have one, two, three decimal places. So the decimal place, uh, so the, the decimal place is going to have to jump three times. One, two, three. This one we've got one zero, so we're going to have to move the decimal place one time. So 9.6, I'm going to have to move it once. Okay, so the decimal place is going to end up here. My answer is going to be 96. This one here I've got one. Two decimal, two zeros. So I have to move the decimal place twice. So three point seven point three seven five. I'm going to have to move the decimal place one, two times. The decimal place is going to end up here. I'm going to move the answer seven thirty-seven. 
this one here, I'm moving the decimal place once. It's going to end up here. So we're going to get it to 74.21. This one, a bit of a trick one to put in, I'll put in at the end here. I'm going to move the decimal place one, two, three times. So let's do that. One, two, three. The answer is 12. Okay, hopefully you went really, really good with those. Any questions, don't fail to ask. You'll always be able to ask and I'll always give you help as soon as I can get back to you. Okay, see you next time.